Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. I've got two brand new drops from Discmania thanks to Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10 to save 10% on your order over at the website. All orders over $70 ship for free. The discs we have for today are the brand new Nordic Phenom 3. This is a Horizon DD3. I think this is a better fit for Niklas more than the PD. I think Ganon is much more known for the PD than Niklas is at this point. So the Nordic Phenom 3 in that Horizon DD3, really good choice for Niklas. And then we've got the Swirly S-Line TD. The STD has always been kind of a famous disc. Greg Barsby always used to say, I got my STD in Europe, but you can get yours from Discmania. Basically a Roadrunner, but it is called an STD. It's a Discmania disc. Uh, I got my first STD in Sweden and it comes with me everywhere I go. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you or where you got your STDs, but I got mine in Europe. I got mine from Power Grip, so use my discount code. You can get one of these for yourself. Let's see how they fly. Got the Horizon DD3 here. I'm expecting this to be pretty overstable for me. <sighs> that thing actually goes. That had a nice flight to it. It didn't quite pop up to flat for me. I think if you throw at least 65 miles an hour or more, you'll actually get it to pop up at least to flat. And then probably in the 70s, you'll actually get it to pop up and turn. I'm really excited to see how the swirly TD flies. We're gonna throw it on a flat line and see if we can get it to turn a little bit. <laughs> threw it on a touch of hyzer, flipped up completely to flat had a nice straight flight and then a nice reliable fade at the end. And I think a lot of people are expecting the TDs to be really, really understable. And they weren't as understable as people expected. And they wound up being a really great workhorse style fairway driver that you could kind of carve up those straight lines with and not worry so much about the disc turning all the way over and burning or being too flippy or unreliable. Seems to be a pretty good disc so far, but we'll grab them and we'll throw them back the other way. We got the crutched up ice dad in the house. He is in town. It's been a while. A lot of the OG fans of the channel would remember this guy. But if you don't recognize this guy, <laughs> this, this is my dad. He tore his calf playing pickleball. We went and got him some Goodwill crutches. So he's, you know, he's crutching around now, but it's good to have him here in the States. He's normally living over in Australia. And uh, normally he'd be participating in the videos, but obviously, He's got bigger problems on his hands and bigger fish to fry at the moment. All right, first impressions, both discs flying a little bit more stable than I expected. We were throwing into a few mile an hour tailwind. So we're gonna see how they hold up back into the headwind. I'm gonna throw them a little bit more flat, a little bit less hyzer. Um, trust them a little bit more and see if we can get some amount of turn out of either of these. So far, I really like the feel and hand and the flight. The plastic is not too stiff, not too gummy. Just a good overall feeling disc. And to me, honestly, this feels very similar to the new Halo Destroyer that I really enjoyed that I threw just a few videos ago. But Nordic Phenom, DD3. Just a good, really stable run of DD3 that also goes really far. Um, even the Eagle McMahon DD3s, I could never really get them to hyzer flip or turn at all. Um, I tend to throw distance drivers like the Strive that are, have a little bit more kind of pick up to flat and glide to them, but it's really nice to have a stable driver in the bag as well. Now let's see how this TD flies. I'll be honest, I'm a little more excited about the TD than I am the Nordic Phenom. So quite a bit more stable than people I feel like most people would have expected. Again, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, definitely something worth noting if you have a slow arm speed and you're looking for something that would turn, I probably would lean you more towards the function than the TD. But if you're an intermediate, advanced, or pro player and you want a nice, stable, but glidey fairway control driver slot, then that new Swirly TD is going to be an awesome disc for you. Well, all right, guys, as far as the brand new Nordic Phenom 3 goes, I, I think it's a pretty stable run of DD3. 
I know I really enjoy the Echo Star DD3s and some of the other older Innova runs. Um, I just think they have a lot more pickup and turn to them, which I throw right around 60 to 64 miles an hour. So it's going to suit my arm speed really well to have something that's going to have a little bit more natural turn to it. Um, the Nordic Phenom 3, obviously brand new, it's going to beat in and become a little bit less stable over time. But overall, I think it's a pretty solid run of the DD3. And I think it's a distance driver that if you throw hard, you can really count on it for the max distance lines. If you don't throw really hard, it's going to be something that's going to be really just reliably overstable for you, but still get you some pretty decent distance. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.